from a major general in the U.S. Army to the campaign chairman for Dr. Ben Carson. There isn't much Bob Dees hasn't done. Throughout his career, he has maintained focus and integrity while moving and motivating the men and women that surround him. A natural leader, Bob Dees will speak to your audience on a number of topics that will leave them motivated and wanting more for their lives. General Dees is a frequent speaker at men's conferences, churches, universities, and public affair venues. Here are some highlights. We're all warriors in one way or another. Each one of you, if we took time, could voice what your latest body slam or your struggles or your warfare. I think we can all agree that part of the human condition is that we are at war, we're warriors. So what do warriors do? Warriors fight. If you're gonna fight, and if it's really war, they don't call it war for nothing, we get wounded. And when we get, when we get wounded, sometimes those wounds are the wounds that you can see. Others you can't see, the wounds of the heart, the soul, the spirit that only Jesus Christ can heal. Believe strongly in Dr. Ben Carson and what he stands for, uh, his values, his courage, uh, and I'm uh, gladly supporting him. I have found, as I've worked with him as previously his national security advisor, that he has all the right reflexes. Uh, he has uh, taken more 2 a.m. calls than anybody I know uh, collectively. He's dealt with uh, complex scenarios, life-death situations. He really has the right reflexes, and as a person that spent 30 years in uniform, I'm convinced he has the right stuff to be commander-in-chief, and not only the right stuff, but I think he's the most qualified candidate that we have on that stage, uh, and I'm anxious to tell people more about that. When I went to West Point, they gave me a simple mental checklist, and it said, uh, conduct the mission, accomplish the mission, and take care of the troops. And it was in my head, and it was branded on my forehead, I think, when I left. And somewhere along the way, I don't know whether it was when I saw one soldier die for another, or, or when my own radio operator drowned on a patrolling mission, or when uh, I had to pick up the Easter eggs with the widow, the new widow and the young children on an Easter morning, uh, the soldier having killed himself the night before. Somewhere along the way, it went from this mental ascent to my heart. And then somewhere along the way, it dropped even further into my very gut, my very soul, and it became a divine calling. And I sensed that that was how God wanted me to serve, not only him, but serve the great sons and daughters of America. So. Uh, truly, it has been a privilege. We all have a well of courage and it's constantly being filled and depleted. We need to understand enough about ourselves to, to know that dynamic. And then about ourselves, we need to understand what are effective disciplines of replenishment. Mine are different from yours, but we all, in terms of uh, motivation and things that uh, refill our well of courage, need to understand that and we need to be our own self-monitor and have friends around us that monitor that so we don't dip too deeply into the well of courage. Now what about you? What about your dusty, bloody boots? We as Christian men in this nation, some would say even a post-Christian nation, in this nation of moral demise, you read in uh, Gibbon's Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire where the Roman senators' wives became prostitutes on the Temple Mount because good became evil and evil became good. Quite a few things are upside down in our nation today and the men of Jesus Christ in this nation have got to stand up and turn them right side up. After the destruction passes by, now the question is, what do I do about it? How do I really recover? How do I bounce back? This thing we call resilience. Uh, you know, the question might be, uh, are you a tennis ball, which bounces, or are you an egg, which smashes? Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses, all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. And so in our own lives, as we encounter trauma, are we, have we cultivated the ability to be a tennis ball to truly bounce back, or are we a smashed egg and nobody can ever put us back together again? That's the question. 